tutorial I'm just going to show you how to use Photoshop gradients and the different types of Photoshop gradient. Now I'm just going to go over to the gradient tool, here's the gradient tool and here's the gradient palette. I've already selected one and the various types are here. So there's linear, radial, angle, reflected and diamond. So I'm just going to go first, first one. Just going to drag that across, hold the shift down, just across ways. And there's the actual gradient applied, just there, exactly the same there. Undo gradient. Now, of course, with one thing with these gradients, you can apply them anywhere. So now I'm using the radial one, so I can just apply it in the top corner. It's radial. Well, of course, comply it just in the center. And of course, you can actually apply it just with a very short length or you can extend it out. And it changes the way the gradient is applied in Photoshop. And I'm using uh, CC, but it could be for CS6, etc. Of course, I can apply it again, just in different location. There. Now, I'm just going to do the angle. And just going to apply that there. And you can actually make the angle one. It's actually like a sort of sprays out the colour. Sort of rotated throughout so I've actually what I've done with the gradient I've actually got a gradient that starts the same color and ends with the same color stop if I actually remove that and I'm just going to remove it now and I actually apply it again you'll actually see a, a dividing line which is not particularly elegant but it's great for creating a sort of quick divide one color and another color so I'm just going to now apply the reflected and again, you can see that color both sides with the central color there. That's the reflected option. Of course, where you start it, position it, they position it there. And if I actually go back, add another color stop there, I just do that. And you can actually see you get two now. So, quick, easy way of doing that. And last one is the diamond one. And if you just apply it, straight down it's a diamond if you apply it 45 degrees it's a square and of course with all these uh, gradient types not really that many gradient types i mean it's only five you can find other applications that got a lot more sort of fractal ones fractal designs and a few more than that and different ways of common combinations also a number of times it's repeated all those sort of things uh, i wish they would add that in photoshop but maybe that's something for cs cc8 CC9 or whatever. Anyway, like I say, you can combine these so you can go to difference modes, blending modes, and you can just create slightly different sort of rotating gradient, whatever. So it's not just limited to the gradients you've got, but I say it would be nice if there was a few more options in the Photoshop gradients. Anyway, hope you found this tutorial of interest and that you'll subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel and uh, always add new tutorials, so thank you much.